You want some hash? You look like a junkie. Come over and hash Turib's pills. That's the puppet Rabbit. Imagine Frankenstein's monster made out of reanimated shredded cushion stuffing. The man behind Rabbit is Florian Loika, and together with Amir Tebate Bai and Brian Morrow, they make up the trash puppet theatre group Das Helmi. <laughs> I'm in a humid theatre in Dusseldorf watching Das Helmi's anarchic puppet performance of Luc Besson's 1994 cult movie Leon the Professional, which starred Natalie Portman and Jean Renault. <laughs> the first reports indicate too many baked beans for breakfast. <laughs> Good morning, New York! Okay, we got 80 degrees in the shade now. It's gonna be a hot one downtown. Watch out for traffic, air pollution, and terrorists. Have a nice day in the Big Apple now! Hello. <coughs> My name is Matilda. The stage lighting hangs hot overhead. The sweat sticks to the puppeteers' faces like oil, and the audience is enthralled. <laughs> In a way, it's like two realities, the puppets and the performers. I asked Brian if this was intentional to reveal themselves so much. It's a semi-conscious decision to, if you like, play open, that you see, not all the time, but some of the time that you see the puppet player. So it's not a taboo in our puppet theatre to see the puppet player and read his face, so to speak, that you see some emotions or uh, gestures or mimicry going on. <laughs> Besides their puppet cover version of Leon, Das Helmi also performs classics such as Arsenic and Old Lace, Three Colours White, and even their own life story of Vincent van Gogh. They've gone from performing Leon in a living room to bigger venues, but not without some problems, as Brian explains. We've used balloons as extras, as a whole division of police, and they storm Leon's apartments. And it's basically, it's a pragmatic decision because previously when we were just playing inside of Berlin, we would be uh, three guys, two bicycles, and cheap plastic bags full of stuff. So it's basically, it's very pragmatic. We've used very little stage and props and stuff, but it's got to be transportable. It previously had to fit on two bicycles or show. <laughs> Does Helmi has moved up in the world. Now, when the budget allows, they can rent a car. Brian Morrow first met the other members of Das Helmi in a disused children's toilet in Helmutsplatz in Berlin, where they were performing Hansel and Gretel. It was very trashy, totally anarchic. It felt very improvised, but also trying to be true to the idea of a story. And there's a certain balance between being totally in the moment and having these old stories and making them fresh again that I, I really liked. <laughs> But there is a serious side and some key ideals behind Das Helmi, as Florian Leuka says. We try to survive as a theatre group. If you have a lot of people, it's more difficult. If you have a lot of puppets, you don't need so many people. And that was a kind of trick for us <laughs> to go on with what we like. <laughs> And this do-it-yourself punk philosophy is very evident when you take a closer look at Das Helmi's puppets, as Florian, the main puppet maker, explains. And I used, I don't know what you have in, in the household. Some I find in the street. So it was, in the beginning, it was also kind of idea not to buy a lot of products, but to use what you find and kind of 
No money filter, no money at all, like, and only glue and some wire. Does Helmi are growing up, kind of? They've worked on some more serious children's puppet shows for the Jewish Museum, and they've made a version of King Kong for kids with a Turkish background. And they've picked up the Dietmar N. Schmidt Award at the theatre festival Impulse. Now they're at a point where they can review their approach to theatre, as Emir points out. We have to produce one big project for children and one big project for adults, and not too much small projects. We want to concentrate for two or three big projects in one year. It seems that Das Helmi will easily be able to pursue adult and children's theatre, as Brian says. We're very flexible, we're very accessible, flexible, and we're quite cheap. So anybody listening out there wants to hire us for different occasions, bar mitzvahs, weddings, uh, funerals, we'll do any gig. Well, I don't know about funerals, but keep an eye out for the punk puppeteers Das Helmi performing at a venue near you soon. Cheryl Northey, Deutsche Welle Radio.